boldest on our way. Let the folded grave clothes where your body lay. Yours is the glory, risen in conquering sun. That is now defeated, victory has been won. My dear brothers and sisters, good morning. Good morning, Father. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So we thank God for bringing us to another week, the second week of May, the fifth week of Easter. As I go, I go through all the readings of this week, what stands out to me is Jesus' command to us to love. And so... I have dubbed this week the week of love. So today he's going to tell us how we can love him. And as we move along, he's also going to tell us how we can love one another. In a lot of ways, you and I, because we don't always pay attention, because we don't obey the Lord, we stand before him this morning unworthy. Let us beg him for his pardon and for his strength. Lord Jesus, you come to us in word and sacrament. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come again at the end of time to judge the living and the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring all of us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help so that defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostle Barnabas the apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd shouting, Men, 
Why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Not to us, O Lord, but your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but your name give glory because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my father will love him, and I will come to him and make my, our, our dwelling, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, yesterday, the reading, the gospel reading ended on this note. Whoever believes in me will do the same works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. Today, 
the gospel reading ends on this note. The advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. These concluding points are very important. They highlight the spiritual rhythm of the church. Yes, I am going to the Father. I'm going to prepare a place for you. I will come and get you. But in the meantime, if you believe in me, you will continue to do the work that I have been doing. You will continue to represent me well. And then the reason you will be able to do mightier works than I have been doing is because when I'm going to the Father, and precisely because I'm going to the Father, the Holy Spirit will come. And he will teach you and will remind you and will empower you. After today, the Holy Spirit is not mentioned again until next week. For a reason, the church is preparing us gradually for the high feast of Pentecost. And so then what we are invited to do is to think about our own spiritual plan. Because Catholic spirituality is not just about coming to church and going home to, do, to, to go about your business. It's about taking seriously and embodying that which we hear all the time. I will share with you one of my favorite Bible verses, and that is the, 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 responsorial, the response to the responsorial song. Not to us, O oh Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory. That is the church's response to the story of, of Paul and Barnabas' healing this man born crippled. When we are able to do mighty works because of Jesus, the glory should not come to us. It should come to God. And in a way, for me, another important dimension to this point is that the church encourages all of us to pray the Psalms. We know that the priest and religious pray the divine office. We lay faithful are also encouraged because the psalm or the psalms are inspired words. When we pray the psalms, we are using God's own words and offering them back to him. There's no better way, there's no more powerful way to pray than to use the words of the book of, of psalms. And so I just want to encourage us to take our spiritualities very seriously. Jesus tells us, as I signaled in the introduction, that when we love him, that's when we do his works, or we, do, we obey him and do the things he tells us. He says, he who has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. He who has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And the Father will love him, and I will love him, and I will reveal myself to him. And then he goes on to say, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And the Father will love, will love him or will love you. And then I will also love you. And then the Father and I will make, come and make our dwelling with you. Yesterday he says, I'm going to prepare a dwelling place for you. Today he says, we will come and make our dwelling with you. Dwelling to dwell with is to be intimate, is to be one. So at the end of time, we are supposed to be one with God the Father, God the Son, when we have, because we have lived a Christian life. But before that, God himself is going to come to us and live with us because, precisely because we love him. My dear friends, let us stand and pray. 
for the preaching of the gospel, that no one may look for honor, but only preach the truth about the living God, giving all glory to him. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, may be with Christians who must stand up and be counted for the moral values of the church, giving them courage and teaching them what they must speak. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That we may be made worthy to become the dwelling place of the Father by our love for Jesus and our obedience to his commandments. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all who have asked for our prayers and for those who are most in need of prayer at this time, for the forgotten and oppressed people of the world. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That our dearly departed loved ones may be quickly purified so that Jesus may reveal himself to them in the full glory of heaven. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all these two, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hail Mary, full of full grace, of grace the, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed, and blessed is the fruit of thou, of Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, us now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and as it was, was in the beginning, beginning it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please be seated. Catholic hymn now 67. 67. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours. We are yours. Yours as we stand at the table you've set. Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget. We are the signs of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Your holy people stand washed in your blood. Spirit filled yet hungry, we await your food. For though we are, we have brought ourselves to you. We are yours, we are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Together, my dear friends, let us pray that the sacrifice of ours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good, good and the good of, of all his holy religion. church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord, 
but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, host. heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, as well as our zealot bishops, John Lewis and Anthony, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name, name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. You take away the sons of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sons of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sons of the world. Grant it to us. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Catholic hymn now 103, 103. O bread of heaven beneath this veil that has my very God concealed by Jesus' dearest treasure hill. I love you and of immortality, I live not is not that I live, God gives me life, God lives in me, he feeds my soul, he guides my way. Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, liberate me, water from Christ's side, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O good Jesus, hear me, within thy wounds, hide me, suffer me not to be separated from thee, from the malicious enemy, defend me, in the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto thee, that I may praise thee with thy saints and with thy angels forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of his saving food, 
we are spared through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The mighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. You all have a wonderful day. Same to you, Father. Thank you. Hymn 196, 196. Christ the Lord is risen today. Christians is your vows to pay. Offer him your praises meet. Are the pastor's victims feet? Who the Lord and Lamb has blood? Sinners in the sinners dead. Christ the Lord is risen on high. No, he lives no more to die. The Katsina. Who is she that comes forth as the morning rising? Fair as the moon, bright as the sun, terrible as an army set in battle array. My soul glorifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. Puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servants, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Who is she that comes forth as the morning rising? Fair as the moon, bright as the sun, terrible as an army set in battle array. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. Let us pray. O Lord, o Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our mediator with, with the Father, who has been, been pleased to appoint the most blessed virgin, virgin your mother to be our mother also, and our mediatrix with you. Mercifully grant that whoever comes to you seeking your favors may rejoice to receive all of them through her. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.